welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today we are taking it downstairs as we talk about the top 10 scary holes found in basements. Now basements can be scary places already, what is going on down there? What are those creaks and bumps and pipes you hear in the night? The plot thickens when you introduce a spooky hole. In general holes tend to be pretty scary, they scare me, big holes, small holes, I don't like them. I feel like working for most amazing top 10 has given me trypophobia. Before we get into the video why don't you guys let me know what scares you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend and of course do check out the links in the description box to our most amazing instagrams, come say hey over there. Alright also do stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be reading out some comments from a previous one and this was a collaboration between myself and Jocelyn from beyond the screen so you guys had a lot of thoughts and good things to say. All right, holes. What is happening down in those basements? Holes, apparently. Coming in at number 10, we have Samara's death hole. I am talking about the movie The Ring, but I will admit that that sounded a bit suspicious. Firstly, I want to say that I absolutely love Reddit. Reddit is like an endless source of scary information from real people, so thank you Reddit and thank you humans for contributing. Honestly, I don't know where most amazing top 10 would be without Reddit. So in 2016, Colin Tendo posted on Reddit to say, I have the ring in my basement, and looking at the pictures, it literally looks like they do. They found a well under a trap door under two cement blocks. They lifted up the blocks and hello creepy death hole. Like seriously, who died down there? People on Reddit were freaked out. The post got over 8,000 upvotes. After all of the attention the hole got on Reddit, Colin Tendo gave us an update. They said, a friend told me I should throw a lifelike doll down there to show the kids when they act up. This is what happened when little Johnny wouldn't eat his vegetables. I think that's cruel. He also said, for visibility it is 8 feet deep, 4 feet filled with water. There is nothing else down there, no holes, no copaland pipes, no gates to hell. It's just a hole with water, nowhere to explore or Spelunk. Still though, creepy hole in the basement. I don't like it, and something about the stone. Creepy. This person who found this hole had a premonition that it even existed long before they found it. Coming in at number 9, we have the railroad hole. This is an insane story. Imagine moving into a home and always having a weird feeling about your property. Alexandra Poulos of Lansdowne, Pennsylvania said she always knew there was something going on in her house that she didn't yet know about. She said she felt a presence. While her basement started breaking, she was very, very stressed, but when it opened up to reveal a massive hole, she was thoroughly creeped out. Long story short, she dug deeper into the hole and found a room 14 feet below. When they dropped a ladder down, they discovered that the room was actually part of an old underground railroad. Now Poulos is investigating the history of the space and making structural repairs. She's convinced that there's a spiritual presence and she wants to know the full story. Are there ghosts of the railroad underneath her house coming out through a hole? What a sentence. Coming in at number 8 we have the sinkhole. In 2013 a man in Norwood, Cincinnati woke up to discover a 40 foot sinkhole in his basement. The hole was 10 feet wide and 40 feet deep. It seems like something had gone pretty wrong, obviously. Sinkhole. Honestly, have a look at it. This is what the homeowner had to say. I mean, everything. Everything I had that was worth value is gone. <laughs> Tells the house ends up being purchased off the owner by the city who tore it down to repair the hole, so I guess there's kind of a silver lining, although they did lose out on their house for a while. Coming in at number 7 we have the Mylux. In 2019 the Ace of Finland posted this scary looking hole on Reddit's urban exploration subreddit. They simply wrote, we found a deep hole filled with water in the basement of an abandoned factory, and well I mean that is a pretty accurate description. This actually looks like a Tomb Raider level filled with harpoon doomed, remember when you'd make Lara Croft swim down the spooky holes. Others said it looked like a place that would be full of Maya lurks from Fallout. One commenter wrote, seems like the beginning of a horror movie, a pair of explorers in an abandoned building stumble upon this flooded basement. Just as they turn around to leave, something grabs them by the ankle. Right? Coming in at number 6 we have this mystery hole. A YouTube video uploaded in December 2011 shows a guy investigating a very strange hole in his basement floor. At first he shows the hole with the camera, it's covered over, but then he opens it up and pokes the camera down there and it does look very very deep indeed. Yeah, so. I guess we'll probably go down there eventually, but I don't know, it's kind of a small hole. 
So definitely a bigger person. Like we never actually get to the bottom of this spooky hole and I would straight up freak out if this was in my home because what's down there? Also, would you not worry about this damp open space being underneath your house? Like I wouldn't structurally feel good about that, let alone the ghosts and ghouls. Coming in at number five, we have the doorway to the abyss. Four years ago, Gibbersman posted on our creepy on Reddit. They simply wrote, the hole in my basement and then shared a link to this Imja horror. Can you even imagine? To me this looks like the lair of the Mothman or something. Some of the comments are reasonably on point. Max Powers 8988 said, sit in there with no lights on for 30 minutes while you conduct an EVP session. Another commenter said, this is Mr. Buzz Killington, they said, you are that guy in the horror films that would insist that everyone stay together with the lights on and if anything weird happened you would just pack your bags and get into the car and drive back to Florida instead of wandering into the strange dark places alone. Exactly, I kind of feel what they're saying here, like get in the hole or don't post a picture of it. Coming in at number 4 we have this very holy hole. Imagine finding a hole in your basement and then discovering it leads to an underground chapel that's been hidden for a hundred years. I mean I don't feel good about that. People do not have secret underground chapels for good reasons do they? It's always like secret praying or ritual sacrifice or satanic cults. Here's a picture of Gareth amid the original hole and here he is in the room at the end of it. Honestly, that crumbling cross on the floor really freaks me out. I don't like it. Coming in at number 3, we have the spider hole. Okay, I don't know what I dislike more, spiders or holes, but spiders that live in holes, that really takes the biscuit. With that in mind, this really is one of the most horrifying basements I've ever seen. Posted on our creepy on Reddit by Uncle Drunky in 2018, they simply wrote the basement of a house I visited today and then they posted this picture. Ah, I mean can you even imagine, this is one big giant spider hole. I've never seen such thick cobwebbing in my whole life and this is outrageous. Once again I do love Reddit for the every everyday stories shared and the everyday comments from everyday people who just make really good points. Blake Major said there is a 90% chance a human sized spider is lurking down there. Honestly, I think you're right. Dank Fisherman said, but you might get some epic loot for defeating it. That's true, but still, it wouldn't be enough for me. Coming in at number 2, who is Isaiah? It really isn't just the hole that is the scary thing in this basement. In 2015, a man and his brother discovered a horrible secret at a basement of an unoccupied home in Michigan. The siblings were house hunting when they entered the basement of a vacant property, only to be greeted with scary messages. Of the worrying scrawl on the walls was a set of creepy rules for somebody by the name of Joshua. They read 1. Stop reading your walls. 2. No watching Isaiah through the hole. 3. No writing or drawing on the walls. 4. If you don't like these rules go to number 0. That isn't a number 0 though, but really that isn't the point. For me the worrying thing is wrapped up in number 2. No watching Isaiah through the hole. I mean hello creepy. It isn't clear which hole this is talking about, but there is a peephole, some kind of a bunch of peepholes drilled in the staircase, so maybe he was watching Isaiah through there. Also written on the walls was stop watching me, so I've just about had enough of this creepy basement and the creepy holes. Finally at number 1, this is a horrifying true story, we have the pit. This was truly awful. So Gary Michael Heidnick was a rapist and a murderer that kept abducted women chained up in a pit in his basement in North Philadelphia. Heidnick was given the name the people collector as he abducted 6 African American women and held them prisoner in the pit. He killed 2 of them, one of them was electrocuted in a hole in the basement filled with water. Among his victims were Josephina Riviera, Jacqueline Askins, Agnes Adams, Sarah Lindsay and Deborah Dudley. The latter two lost their lives in his house in the hell hole. Here is a horrible drawing of the pit. Honestly, how utterly vile. Luckily Heidnik was apprehended and sent to jail. So guys that was the top 10 scariest holds found in people's basements. Which did you think was the scariest? Let me know in the comments section down below. Do you have a fear of holes now like I do? Do also let me know what most scares you. Before I wrap up this video I'm just going to read some comments from the top 10 scary things found in the desert. Jocelyn was in this video and you absolutely loved her. You guys were leaving loads of messages to welcome her and some of you have even checked out beyond the screen so if you haven't done that do so and you can see more of Jocelyn there. 100k subs with one video challenge said at number 1 Gordon Ramsay's lamb sauce. That really is a scary thing found in the desert. <laughs> Tiffany Benfield said you two always do a great job on your videos keep up the good work. 
thank you. Christina said, the claw had to come from a creature 9 foot tall. Rebecca, it's obviously Slender Man's hand. What is Slender Man doing in the desert? Also, if he's in the desert, does that mean we don't have to worry about him? Because I always imagine him in the woods behind my house, lurking and waiting to kill me. Ah, Slender Man is going to freak me out for the rest of the day, along with the tiny holes. Honestly, I feel like working on this channel is making me very panicked. I need to do more lists about unicorns and cupcakes and big slices of cheese. Whew, there we go. All better. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do make sure you leave a thumbs up on it and share it with a friend. And don't forget to check out the links to our most amazing Instagrams in the description box. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. Stay away from tiny holes and big holes, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.